today, the 3D technology, the three-dimensional three-dimensional technology is really going uh, on from a machining point of view, but we can do it also from a finishing point of view today with all the uh, robotic application, uh, with the spray application that we have. It's about just being a little faster, a little bit more flexible, a little bit more knowledgeable than maybe the guy down the road. And that's really where we see most of the success stories in our customer base. I think with the improvement in our CNC controls, I think that the customers have the ability to certainly be more creative, uh, be more productive, be more accurate in the product that they're producing. I think it's dust collection. I mean, if you look at guys that are, are, are doing woodworking and woodworking industries, I've been to shops that don't have good dust collection systems or none at all. It's a mess. It's unsafe, uh, not just from the breathing standpoint, but from the surroundings. Mass customization. We're making one or two parts we can incorporate through lean management and CNC technology the same costs that we used to have in mass, co mass production. You're seeing the downscaling of high technology that was once made for the massive producers now made at smaller scales for the smaller woodworkers that enable them to have the same technology as the larger manufacturers and be competitive. If I'm in the position of our customer running a show or deciding the strategy for my shop for the year to come, um, I'll be extremely focused on the technologies that offer me the possibility to be extremely f flexible and integrated. It's automation and material handling. You know, being able to, number one, reduce that overall labor picture, but number two, speed the process of handling the product throughout uh, the, the facility. He's really the one to automate their company and to go into the fourth industrial uh, revolution to a price that was not affordable before. The idea of, from our side is less hardware protruding in a cabinet. How can I make it even better? To me, I would say the, the material handling side is the, the thing that's going to provide the biggest um, bump to them. Increasing profitability, reducing costs, and you can do that through efficiency. And efficiency doesn't just come from an automated machine. It doesn't necessarily come from technology. It comes from processes, finding ways to, to maximize those processes. They should demand um, from their suppliers um, that at the end of the day, um, when it's all said and done, that oh, I've saved you money. I've saved you steps in the process. Um, and, and really, you do that through innovation. I think they, they realize that they have to invest in, in, in efficiencies and, 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 and change their thinking overall. The People that are embracing technology, can, they can now take a program such as KCD and they can design a room full of cabinets to incredible precision and detail in 30 minutes. Climb that threshold and become a, a little tech savvy and design your cabinets in the computer and cut them with a CNC machine and save your back and adopt that technology. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a broad concept, but I would say anything that's helping manufacturers increase their efficiency. I think that um, companies are going to find it hard to compete if they're not utilizing uh, what's out there, what's available. Um, if the guy down the street is able to, you know, produce a job that's you know, the same quality, but he can do it faster, he can do it for less money, then it's going to have a hard time competing with that. I think industry-wide technology has become available to pretty much everybody, whereas in the past, I think technology was sort of, the, the newest technology was kind of resigned to the, the larger companies. We're gonna do some cut to size. We'll do things for you. We're gonna help you educate your customers on the materials that we're using for the industry and the technology to put those materials on properly. They're thinking of, uh, yes, I may have to spend a little more here, but if it's cost efficient and I can do that uh, without adding people, uh, it's to the benefit of, uh, of me, then I'll purchase that item. Our customer base are business owners that uh, their primary objective is to improve the return on equity and return on capital expenditures. And as a result, we think that our technological inclusion, any type of solution that we provide to them needs to help 
subsidize and support that initiative. I think that what they're going to need is um, equipment that helps them save labor and it needs to be equipment that is um, easy to use, that doesn't require a specialist within the organization. I think the panacea of the wood shop right now is to have all their machines talking to each other. Integration to me is, is the panacea for sure. We've seen some really interesting results people have, have uh, achieved out of using basic customer relationship management software, CRM systems. So the automation aspect of, of that together with uh, the data information systems, over time that's where, where I foresee a huge potential um, coming. Nested based CNC automation is, is the thing that should be adapted you know, in the cabinet shop and is going to continue to be adapted. And the prices of that technology and the quality of the machines that you can buy today for your dollar is just is tremendous. I would say probably the, the best solution uh, for them would be in the area of storage and retrieval, material handling, if you will. If you take on the people side of the business and understand what has changed, you're going to be far ahead of your competitor. You just can't hire anybody off the street and throw them at stuff. That day and age is gone. The biggest opportunity for our customers and our customers' customers is in information. What we need to do as an as industry is find ways to continue to promote wood as um, the, the value that it brings. It's a, it's a very sustainable uh, product to, to be utilized in the market. Having technology put in place that gives them the ability to quickly change to meet that demand that is ever-changing.